EA Sports to the game. these days, they've got to be super, super quick to get to the next ball. It's easier to hit the ball standing there when you know where it's coming than it is when you're on the full run. So you got to test an opponent right away to see what he's capable of hitting the ball on the run. And secondly, what type of fitness level he has. Because let's face it, as the match progresses and you start wearing down, it's tougher to come up with those running passing shots. All right, John, discuss the pros and cons of hitting your shots deep. Well, there's not too many cons, first of all. I mean, perhaps you won't be in position to volley if you're moving into net because players hit it so fast. So maybe there's a con there. 
But when you hit good depth, it gives your opponent less time and he's feeling more pressure that he's going to come up with something special. Highly recommend it. Uh, hit, with, hit, with, hit with depth. Thinking she might take a risk here on that serve. You know this, Pat, right before you play a match, your game plan, especially early on in the match or a set, you want to get that edge and get some momentum in your favor, so that's a big edge. All right, the player is looking to hold oh. serve here, consolidate that break, and really take charge here in this match. Sure. Sure. looking a bit grim right now. And we're off again. Oh, good winner. You still got a shot here. Last didn't get that one up. It's gone to the net. Cons of attacking the net. I know you love this stuff. Oh, I love this. Obviously, you too. But you need to get into net and position yourself well. Arthur Ashe used to tell me, cover the line. Cut off that angle. So if the guy goes cross but you can just stick your racket up. Sometimes you need to hit the approach softer to give you more time to give yourself that position. Sometimes you need to try to rip the winner to end the point.
think she might take a risk on this, sir. Oh, that's gone into the net. Ah, she didn't get that one up. It's gone to the net. Oh, second serve here. Well, that's a great serve. You really have to put a lot of pressure on our opponent now. When you feel like your opponent's returning, Robbie, usually what you do is you start to try to serve harder, go for closer to the lines, and that's what her opponent's doing there. But putting too much into it, you think? A little bit too much. Playing, getting out of her element there, not in her comfort zone, and that's because of the return game there. An excellent break of serve. Well, she came into this match with quite a bit of confidence, but. I don't think she expected to be four love up. No, I think that she thought this would be a lot closer. This is a little gravy right now, but she's got to keep the intensity up. She's playing a smart match, a lot of first serves in. Just keep the focus here. building here somehow, just point by point.
it's a good effort to keep the pressure on here. She's uh, serving for the match. It's all about nerves now. You dream about this position. It gets to a point where you're serving for the match. But she's got to step it up here and really focus in. That doesn't mean go for four aces the next game. Let's get some good high percentage first serve. accurately she might get attacked Today, Mac, thanks very much for coming along. I certainly enjoyed it, and I hope the folks at home uh, enjoyed it as much as we did. Awesome working with you, Pat. I think we saw a real special match out there today. Look forward to seeing and working with you again in the future. To everyone out there, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon.